Hi, I'm Justin William Savoy, and it is late October 2020, and I am doing this uh, video just to discuss um, some more about the Magus of Stravelos, or um, there's a series of books that's written by Kyriakos C. Marchides that I began um, discussing, um, first starting with Fire in the Heart, and then talking about the first book, The Magus of Stra Stravelos. And um, this book here is actually by Doskalos himself, um, Dr. Stylianos At Atishilis. I don't know how to say his last name, to be honest. Um, most of the stuff I read um, to myself. So... Um, what I want to discuss is just kind of more of their belief system and um, some of my thoughts about it. So this book is called The Esoteric Practice, Christian Meditations and Exercises. And um, on the back here, it has a really interesting quote. Like the first time I read this, I was just like, what is even going on here? But um, what it's talking about, it says, um, tell me what salt tastes like. Can you tell me what salt tastes like? Can you? Can you describe to me the taste and sensation of salt? You may say that it is a white crystalline solid, chiefly composed of sodium chloride. You may also say that it is chemical composition is uh, NaCl. But I tell you this, until you first place some salt on your tongue, you will not know the taste of salt. What do we need to do? We need to take a pick and head to the salt mines. So I found that to be pretty interesting. Um, this symbol I think I talked about um, in one of the previous videos that I made um, just because he was describing this triangle um, and its meaning. I think it's very interesting and it looks very um, similar to some like Jungian archetypal um, um, type of art that you would see um, maybe in different circles um, that practice depth psychology, um, something like stuff that comes from like Hillman or um, uh, Pacifica University or people who do work in comparative mythology coinciding with um, psychology and psychiatry. Um, so I, I really like it, actually. Um, it's a pretty powerful um, image. And here is the inside of the cover. Um, the cover symbol. The hands are expressive as the tongue. They can curse or christen, harm or heal, banish or bless. For centuries, teachers have used their hands to communicate powerful nonverbal symbols. We know that Joshua Emmanuel, the Christ, was a master at teaching with his hands. Our cover depicts one of Joshua's symbols, the connected thumbs, form the base of a triangle with the four fingers angling upwards to complete the sides. Spaced apart and fanning outwards are the other fingers. The full triangle represents our divine nature as a spirit ego being, complete, harmonious, and luminous in the eternal now. This triangle is itself composed of our four internal triangles, three of which face upwards with a fourth in the center inclining downwards. And here's a little um, interesting diagram, A, B, S, S, B, C, L, and H, S. The upper triangle represents absolute beginness, God, A, B. The triangle in the lower left-hand corner represents the Christ Logos, C, L, while the Holy Spirit, H, S, fills the lower right-hand triangle, the spirit, soul, being, S, S, B, of a human, descending into time and place is situated in the center eternally supported on all sides by the holy trinity the remaining fingers in the symbol represent our descent into the worlds of separation firstly with the least distance between them the middle finger symbolized the noetical body and the world next and with greater gulf from the tip to tip to tip the fingers depict the physical body and the world and finally, with the greatest degree of separation, we have the little fingers, which represent the gross material body and world. The apparent separation we experience is an illusion, established and confirmed by the egoism and personality which sees itself as separate from the whole. However, it is clear there is no real separation, for the hands remain inexorably unified in their source. So here is Esoteric Practice, Christian Meditation and Exercises compiled by the Direction 
Stylianos is how you say his first name, Atish, Atishlis. I wouldn't know the Greek pronunciation. I'm going to do one of those little internet searches and hear it phonetically pronounced to myself. PhD, DD, M, Psi, M, M, C, S. Bunch of alphabet soup right there. A teacher of what is within known as Doskalos. I'm just kidding about that. We all have those little uh, acronyms after our names or what have you. Uh, this book exists as a companion volume to the esoteric teachings by the same author, which details the more theoretical aspects of our work. However, this book has also been designed to stand alone, as we have provided a short overview of the basic tenets and beliefs of our esoteric Christian approach to truth. While reading this text, you are likely to come across terms unfamiliar to you and perhaps terms that you may have heard in other teachings and disciplines. Please note that our system for research of truth employs some terms and concepts in a particular fashion to avoid confusing our terminology with that of other schools of thought and to gain clarity over the material world. We appeal to the reader to consult the glossary at the back of this book. The complement of this title, we will soon publish a collection of guided exercises and meditations. Excuse me, i got to turn off this alarm. I don't even know what this is for. It's pretty annoying. Um, to complement this title, as we soon publish a collection of guided exercises and meditations. Um, her work deals extensively with complex visualization, a language of the divine, leading to the deep and intimate spheres of consciousness. I believe that was his wife. I'm not sure. Panayota. I know that last name, the Theotoki. That's very interesting because um, of the Theotokos, um, God bearer or mother of God. And Atish. Well, I'm not going to obsess about how to pronounce that. <laughs> That's from the editors. Uh, let's see. And here's a little note from Daskalos himself. And let's see here. Um, contents, introduction, part one, Gnosis, Esoteric Christian Wisdom, Our Lord's Prayer on Exercise and Meditation, The Seven Promises, Esoteric Teachings, Absolute Beginningness, The Archangels, of the elements on being human, individualated selfhood, some common questions. Part two, practice exercise and meditations on patterned breathing, basic breathing technique. <clears throat> and let's see here. What's next? Observation, concentration, and visualization. Drawing and visualization. A lemon, a rose, doves, a pastoral landscape, concentration and observation. That's really interesting because um, I was a part of a Steiner, uh, Rudolf Steiner group in um, Talent, Oregon at a hermetical bookstore. We used to study um, about some of Steiner's um, thoughts and beliefs. And we used different various um, plants or like rocks or different things like that to do different visualizations. So I don't know. This is an interesting side note. I find some parallels in some of the thought here and some of Steiner's thought. Um, you could research that more if you are so inclined. Um, moving along. Etheric doubles on etheric vitality, on the ethers, on etheric energy centers. Finger... Concentration, sensate and kinetic ethers, visualizing the body, etheric arms and hands, developing your etheric arms, etheric hands and colored balls, a candle flame healing with balls of light, balls of light and healing hands, creating balls of healing light, balls of light for self-healing, cleansing and protecting our three bodies, a shell of light, good health, health and subconsciousness. Introspection and common selfhood. Daily introspection, learning to love an enemy, loving your enemies, three sons, creating peace, communal prayer for peace, circles of possibility and probabilities, an almond tree, a rose bush, and all the works of thine hands. He was lost and he is found. You have been with me from the beginning. I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I in you, and I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And then there's the Essene prayer of Joshua. 
And the glossary. It's the same quote that's on the back of the book. Um, a couple of, let's see, from the Gospel of Luke. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. And I have more understanding than all of my teachers, for thy testimonies are thy meditation. Psalm 119, verse 99. So let's see, the Essene Prayer of Joshua, 145. I'm going to check that out. And I studied about this. Since I was thinking about this the other day when I made the video and um, some things that you always think after the fact, kind of like post hoc information that you'd like to add. Um... I wanted to talk about the Essenes and really um, just discuss uh, more about them. I know that's horrible for the book binding the Sadat that way, so you um, bibliophiles will have to forgive me, but I'm going to have to drink some coffee here. And much of the books that I discuss and talk about these days, oh, that's good, are um, readers' editions anyways. I do like this little design here um, on the spine. The Stoa series. So the Stoa is that originally that little building um, behind his house that we read about um, in the book bar by um, Kyriakos C. Marchides and some of his writings. Um, the Essenes I wanted to talk about, they're like a um, proto-monastic community. Um, where guys were living a monastic-like existence. And you could go more into detail about them. I think that um, Josephus, or maybe um, Philo of Alexandria, um, they discuss some of that. And there's also that group, the Therapeutae, or I don't know how to pronounce their name, but they're also proto-monastic groups. And it's interesting to look at, like St. John the Baptist, or the Forerunner, he was also a type of proto-monastic um, just um, for desert hermits and desert monastics and the desert fathers. Um, it's this kind of interesting correlation to make. Um, most um, religious systems have some form of monasticism as a part of the path, um, which is always fascinating. And certainly um, Orthodoxy or Eastern Orthodox, Greek, Russian, Antiochian, uh, Syrian, and other um, Egyptian, um, the Coptics, they all have a form of um, monasticism. Of course, Buddhism, you find different types of monasticism, um, Sarus and Hinduism. Uh, I can go on and on. But let's check out the Essene prayer, because supposedly the Essene community may have been where John the Forerunner, John the Baptist, um, was or before he began his ministry um there's a, the book of the essene gospel of peace that could be something just to look into the essenes i haven't done that for probably she is not seriously anyways for like over 20 years but there was a time where i was fascinated and liked to read um writings that were attributed to them and about them and a scene prayer of joshua thou shalt love the lord god with all of thy heart with all of thy soul and with all of thy strength and with thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. In conclusion, we present a meditation given by Joshua Emmanuel the Christ, our Lord, in the synagogue of the Essene Brotherhood, to his disciples before sending them into the world to work as teachers and healers. Relax completely, visualize Joshua Emmanuel the Christ standing before you as you sit peacefully listening in perfect at one mint. Interesting play on the word atonement. Uh, with his divine self, the Logos. In a tune with each and every human being, Joshua spreads out his arms and says, All of you, listen, you are my children, my offering. I am you as God, an absolute beginningness, your real self, and you are always in me as gods. And I am also with you as a human being as your loving Father within our loving Father. Every breath you take, sustaining the life of your material. Body is a fatherly kiss of mine for you, my beloved ones. I will not only speak to you in words of any language, but will also come to you as an inspiration and as a sensation. 
I am the heat which keeps your body alive. I am the breeze, the fresh air that caresses your face. I am in your eyes as your sight, allowing you to enjoy my works around you as a phenomena of life. I am the sight and I see all. I am continuously creating mind substance for you to keep your bodies thriving. I am the living bread of life. John 6, 48. I am the living water which you drink and never thirst again. John 4, 10 through 14. I am the mind vitality everywhere in the world. I am the spirit. I am form. You are my omnipresence. I am the wise voice in your minds that speaks to you when you are doing something which is not right. Not rebuking, but awakening you. For I am reason in your thoughts, and I am love in your heart. Cast away from your heart every bitter emotion, all enmity and all cruelty you may harbor. I am the life in you. Enjoy my life. You are my offspring. You are my flesh and blood and part of myself. I love you. Love all of my expressions. Love all other human beings as your own self. I love all life as I have loved you, and as I will always love you. John thirteen thirty four. Here's a glossary in this book also, absolute beginningness, absolute infiniteness, beginningness, God the Father, Allah, absolute beingness, archangels and angels, so a bunch of interesting topics here, angelic man, atonement, attunement, being, existing, casual states, cause and effect, law of, cause, ideas, and principles, circle of possibility. And so, um, yeah, you might want to check this book out. Here's one of the other books that you can kind of read some um, biographical information on Dosclos himself and his follower, followers. I've also covered Fire and the Heart. <clears throat> and there's other books that you might want to look at by um, Kyriakos C. Marchides, and I'm sure there's other writings and publications by other Revna. Um, for me, it's not really my main central focus at this time. I have a lot of other um, academic interests, and most of this stuff now is like really hobby for me. Um, I am pursuing a lot of other things career wise, and certainly with the state of the world and everything that's taken place. Um, with the pandemic and everything, having to be creative in ways to try to generate income and whatnot, like many of you also. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in esoteric Christianity or mysticism, take a look at that book. Also, I'm interested to hear comparisons and analogies um, with different hermetical and esoteric traditions, different mag magical traditions and whatnot, just to see... Um, what kind of commonality can be found between these different um, systems. Um, and maybe I'll make some more videos in the future. This kind of all started as just someone saying that when there, I was kind of perusing some of my books, my reader's edition books in my bedroom, someone noticed the Fire in the Heart book and had commented about it and how it seemed to be interesting. So I wanted to give a little background on that. Also, if you're interested in Christian uh, mysticism and anthroposophy, um, theosophy and whatnot, then this is going to be interesting to you. And if you're a reader of Steiner's works or you're familiar with Waldorf or any of those type of um, things, you may find this interesting as well. It's just a different bent on Christianity. Uh, I know some mainline Christians may see it as like New Age or kind of out there. Um, but when you look at the Christian mystics um, in the West and the East, um, especially ones that have been interested um, to me, um, which I can do a whole other video series on, um, I'd like to do one on the Christian mystics of the West and then of the East. Um, Eastern Christendom is uh, mysticism, I, myst, mystical, I think, and it's very um, heart. It's like you can't really separate the two. I think Western Christianity you can definitely make a dichotomy, and many of the mystics were not considered to be maybe orthodox in their th thought systems. They kind of transcended that. Which is nice. I think that getting into Christian mysticism really helped me at a time where a lot of my um, really heady analytical 
um, head knowledge was blocking a more of a heart knowledge or um, a transcendent knowledge of the divine. Um, so I think that um, reading some of this kind of stuff was good and beneficial for me in that regard. Uh, this is Justin William Savoy. Again, I can be reached at SavoyJustin123 at gmail.com. Uh, S-U-V-O-Y-J-U-S-T-I-N-1-2-3 at gmail.com. Um, please like, subscribe. Uh, if you like this kind of content, let me know. I make a variety of different types of um, content. But I enjoy talking about this stuff quite a bit. And I hope that wherever you are, uh, that peace will be unto you and that peace will find you. And um, that you will continue to... Um, grow and develop as a human person. All right, thank you so much for checking this out. Have a good day. Goodbye.